up YouTube, FTW here bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on how to make a custom glowing sphere. This is an example of what we're going to be making right here. We'll be making one of these spheres right here with the glowing effect. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Go up to your objects, select a sphere. We're going to change the radius to around 65, the segments to 40. And we're going to want to make our sphere editable, so we'll click on that Make Editable tab. And we're also going to change it so we can uh, affect each polygon. So we'll select right here on the polygon. And see, we can select each polygon if we want, but we're going to go to Selection, go to Ring Selection. Let's spin this a little bit so we can see the top. Now we're going to select the top. Hold shift and select any of the other ones you want to select. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Select the middle. Hold shift and select each individual ring that you want. I'm going to do that again in the middle. Hold shift and select each ring that you want selected. Alright, now we're going to want to create a material. This will be a dark material. Get a collar, we'll make it a dark gray. We're going to add a reflection, make that around 10%. Select texture as a, at a Fresnel. Make the mix strength around 10% as well. And we'll go to our specular and turn the height up to around 60%. Now we'll add that to our area that's highlighted yellow. Alright, and then we're going to go to selection and click on invert. We'll make another material. This will be our glowing material, so I'm going to make mine blue. Okay, we'll add a luminance. Make this blue as well. And change your brightness to around 300%. We'll add that to our yellow area that's highlighted. Alright, now to make this effect work and look better, we're going to add a floor. Let's go back to our regular movement tools. And on the floor, we'll lower this down so it looks like the sphere is actually sitting on the floor. Let's add a, just an, another material and drag that onto our floor so we can see a little better. About right there. We'll add a Go to your floor and hold control and press C, V and duplicate that. This is just to make it so you can see the reflection move the glow better. Raise that up. Go to floor, C, V. And I'm going to go down here to my P value and change this to 90 degree. Click apply. And then we'll drag that back. Now I'll just drag this material onto. They're already on there. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just take our sphere. Let's rotate it a little bit. Wow, am I grabbing the wrong thing here? Grab our sphere and we'll rotate. Now we'll go to our render settings, and what we're going to want to do here is go to effect, add an ambient occlusion and add a global illumination. On the global illumination, go to your irradiance cache file and uncheck autosave. Irradiance cache, and I always put mine on low. Reduces my rendering time. We also want to go to effect and add a glow. Now let's uh, render this out and see what we come up with here. As you can see, the glow effect is already working. It may take a minute to render. I've been rendering a lot of things out today. Computer's acting real slow.
As you can see, it has a nice glow effect. It reflects off the floor and the walls around it. And uh, once the glow kicks in, you can see it a little bit better. Should be coming up here in one second. Here we go. There you go, a nice glow effect. And it's a perfect glowing sphere made in Cinema 4D. If this helped you out in any ways, please check out my channel and subscribe. If you uh, have anything you want to ask, leave it in the comment section below. If there's any tutorials you want to request, just leave it in the comment section below or send me a message. And thanks for watching. If you could just see my face, y'all would see I'm smiling. The clouds are never gray. If only there was a place. If you could just see my face, then y'all would see I'm smiling.